Patreon.com slash the walkoff podcast. Uh, $4 a month gets you in there. The fifth starter in this Blue Jays rotation, and he's really locking that in. It is pretty apparent that it is his spot to lose. And I mean, it felt like this right off the start of spring, right, Adam? Yeah, I mean, we kind of talked that all season was that it was going to be his job to lose. Hopefully he had made the adjustments in the off season. Hopefully he comes back confident with a beard rearing to go. Does have a beard, does seem to have a little bit more confident. Maybe it's not confidence. Maybe it's the pitch clock kind of forces him to get out of his own way a little bit. I agree that that's probably one of the, one of the reasons that he is looking so much better. I know that there was going to be some real competition for this fifth spot. Yes, it was Yusei's to lose. However, Mitch White was in the uh, the conversation, and obviously Mitch White doesn't have options remaining, so they can't stuff him in AAA. And there was a lot of talk that Mitch White just, uh, Yusei Kikuchi projected better out of the bullpen out of the two guys. Now, Mitch White had a bit of a a setback and probably isn't going to even start the season on this roster. Mm -hmm. He's dealing with some injury problems. They're not going to rush him. It's early in the season. There's no reason to uh, push a guy March. What are we sitting here? Sixth or seventh, whatever it is. March 8th. Happy birthday. Oh, we're on the. Hey, happy birthday to Adam's brother. Yes. Okay. March 8th. Wow. Time flying by here. Not going to tell you how many days old he is, but uh, (laughs) there you go. Well, a happy birthday there. Okay. Um, Yusei Kikuchi, here's the thing with with Yusei Kikuchi. We've known all along this was his job to lose. The big news is he hasn't lost it yet. Mm -hmm. Three outings. He's looked all you could hope for. As good as he can. Yusei Kikuchi. Right. He hasn't allowed a run. His strikeouts are up. His ground balls are up. No, oh, it is spring training. So we do have to remind ourselves this is not necessarily a murderer's row of batting orders that he's facing. Even the top tier MLB players he's pitching against, they're not in midseason form either. But now that said. And you bring you know this up where, all the you know time. You know where I'm going buddy. with this. Uh, exactly. We'll take a good. Yes, it's a small, small sample, sample size, size over a bad small sample size. So we'll take it every time. And John Schneider actually came out in the press conference yesterday after the game, and he brought this up. He said that he loves what he's seeing out of you. Say, and it is definitely his spot to lose at this point. This isn't new news, but again, it's like Adam said, right? I would rather a good small sample size than a bad small sample size. We've watched you say Kikuchi make the all-star game with the Seattle Mariners in 2021. He's got the stuff in him to be a dominant pitcher. This wouldn't be the first time major league baseball has seen that out of him. And I like a little confidence goes a long ways, right? He came in, to a new city, a new country, a new team last year. And yes, as as Major League Baseball players who are making $36 million over three years, it's easy for fans to push the humanity out of it, right? And be like, you're getting paid enough, you should perform. Doesn't always work that way. And if we can get even a 4.5 ERA, out of Yusei Kikuchi in 2023, it's going and 150 innings, even 140 innings. My goodness, that would just be absolutely incredible for this Blue Jays organization, for the bullpen, for the depth, for just not needing to dip into waters that you don't want to dip into in the major league season. I don't think we need to spend too much more time on Yusei Kikuchi. However, seeing seven innings, no runs, an increase in strikeouts and a decrease in walks. I mean, it's early, but keep it up. Like thumbs up. 